ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the Mylar brake discs and pads used in the video through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever. And open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. To change the disc and brake pads on your vehicle, you'll need to remove the wheels to gain full access. Lift the front of the vehicle. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. Don't forget to slide the wheels under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Insert a flatted screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you've pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a flathead screwdriver, lift the holding spring on the pads, then take it out. Make sure you keep a finger on the spring during the operation to avoid it jumping out. Ask someone to press the brake pedal. Using a T50 torque socket, release the screw that holds the disc. Using a thin flatted screwdriver, remove the caps covering the slide pins. Loosen the brake caliper. Using a socket wrench, a socket bit and a 7mm Allen bit, undo the two slide pins. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. Remove the caliper. Remove the pads. Frequently, the technique used earlier to insert the piston into the caliper with a screwdriver will not be sufficient to fully insert the piston into the caliper. So, you will need to get a brake caliper wind back tool. This will make it easier for you to put the caliper back on the brake caliper mount when reassembling. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using a cable you have already attached. Using a socket wrench and a 21mm socket, loosen the screws on the brake caliper mount. Depending on the state of the bolts on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Remove the screws and take the brake caliper mount off. Finish removing the disc retaining screw to remove the disc. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the hub with a wire brush. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You will find the Mylar parts and products used in the video through the link in the description. Take the new brake disc. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Place the new disc in place.
Using a wire brush, clean the brake caliper mount around the area where the pads will be placed. This will facilitate their installation. Reassemble the brake caliper mount once again, starting the screwing process by hand. And finishing with a socket wrench and a 21mm socket to fix them in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Take the new brake pads. Coat the end of the new pads with copper grease. Position the outside pad in its housing. You need to check the proper sliding of the slide pins and the condition of the protective rubbers. If they show evidence of wear, it is advisable to replace them with new ones. Then put the pad on the piston side in the brake caliper. Put the brake caliper back in place and screw in the slide pins. Slide them in and screw them with the aid of a socket wrench. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Put the caps back in place. Don't forget to withdraw the electric cable or string that you've attached to hold the caliper. Put the holding springs on the pads back in place. You can use a screwdriver to help you. Press the brake pedal again. Tighten the disc retaining screw. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on. And lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful, before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.